Hello. Eric Honecker, co-founder and CEO of Dimeloop. Dimeloop is a data science, physiology, machine learning company. So we make software that is going to uh, reduce hypoglycemia, improve time and range, and thus decrease risk of complication, and reduce uh, the mental burden of people living with diabetes, both type 1 and coming up type 2. To do that, we have developed our first product, DBLG1. DBLG1 is currently residing within a handset and it's going to be communicating to a CGM on one side via Bluetooth to an insulin pump on the other. Given the history of each person, it's going to take a decision every five minutes to adapt the delivery of insulin within the pump. It also connects to a web platform for data visualization called Yourloops. DBLG1 is designed to be simple, as simple as possible, to be used as wide as possible number of people. Personalized, because every person's life is different, every person's physiology is different. And interoperable, because some people like certain pumps, other people like other types of pumps. You want to be able to interoperable uh, with different types of insulin pumps in particular. Pierre Benamou will be talking about the clinical outcomes. We now have over 7,000 people using our system in Europe. Um, as for myself, I'm going to limit myself to what really matters to us. It's the direct feedback from users. There's a few here that are showing, but you know, the, I don't have hypo while practicing sports. Well, if I do sports, I'm not waking up at night after. It just works. You don't need to enter a lot of data for it to work. It's simple information that needs to be entered. Some people say it's the best thing that's happened. Um, I can sleep at night, etc. Those kind of feedback means that the um, 150 people working at Dibloop, that's why I wake up in the morning. Going forward, where is DBLG1 going? Well, um, it was just the first uh, true generation that's on the market with 7,000 users now, but we're going to be including unannounced meals because sometimes you want to do some other thing with your life than telling a system that you're eating or counting carbs. Um, improve the self-learning, you know, uh, menstrual rhythms, improve insulin sensitivity, basically improve all our self-learning capabilities to go further. Include all current and future insulin types and also be able to use the power of DBLG1 for people living with type 2 diabetes. There's also another product that we will be making uh, beyond DBLG1. It's called DBL for Pen because out of 40 million people living with diabetes in the world and that need insulin, uh, there's currently what million and a half, two million people that are able to use insulin pumps. And out of those 40 million people, 90% will never have access to an insulin pump because it's expensive. So it's a system that's going to be an app on a smartphone, connecting to a CGM on one hand, a connected pen on the other, still connected to the web platform for data visualization. And that is going to be able to use all the self-learning and algorithmic power of Dimeloop within something that's easy to use, simple, um, and that's going to be able to recommend the doses and learn from each person's history. Talk about personalization, automation. The next step is uh, the add more sensors so that you can, um, the patient has less work to do and more of the heavy lifting can be done by the software. If you have heart rate, heart rate variability, accelerometry coming from a smartwatch, and include that with all the power of advanced deep learning algorithms, I mean you can go the next step into less hypos, more time and range, less complication, less burden. To do that, Dimeloop is currently integrating that within a smartwatch, and that smartwatch will be powering DBLG1, but for the people that want it also in the future, DBL for pen. And thank you very much. Happy to answer any questions, and I'll be handing it over to Pierre Benamou for the clinical side. Hello, I'm very happy to talk in this symposium and to provide you with some new information regarding closed loop insulin therapy. And here are some of my main disclosures. 
We know that in the past uh, years, uh, the diabetologists agreed upon what uh, could be the uh, main uh, metabolic indicators to show uh, the outcome of uh, new treatments. And uh, the experts agreed that uh, time in optimal range during CGM should be uh, beyond 70%, whereas time below 70 mg should be below 4%, and time below 54 mg should be below 1%. So that if we look back at uh, the uh, achievement made with DBRG1 since the uh, pivotal trial that has uh, been published three years ago, we can see that there was a continuous improvement in time in range, going from uh, 12 points in the early uh, SP7 trial to up to 18.4 uh, points now uh, since the commercial launch of uh, DBRG1 uh, in Europe. Indeed, uh, we were able to uh, analyze the data among uh, uh, 1,000 patients that have been equipped in Germany during the last quarter of uh, year 2021. And we can see that time in range uh, increased from 54.6% in open loop before the initiation of DBLG1 up to 73%. At the same time, these patients did not experience uh, hypoglycemia, as we can see on this uh, slide. Uh, we looked actually at nearly 2,000 patients that have been equipped during the last quarter of year 2021, and the uh, uh, real figures are 73% uh, uh, time in optimal range, 0.9% time in hypoglycemia, 0.1% below 54 mg, and the glucose management indicator achieved 7.06%. If we look at the percentage of patients that uh, were able to achieve at the same time a time in uh, uh, optimal range uh, beyond 70%, a time in hypoglycemia below 5%, and a uh, glucose management indicator below 7%, we were happy to see that 47% of the patients could achieve all three criteria. Uh, actually, the measurement of uh, the uh, uh, outcome in patients after initiation of closed loop uh, was uh, performed in 974 patients where we had the initial HbA1c. This allowed us to compare the uh, timing range before and after initiation and the metrics in this subpopulation uh, showed that the improvement reached 18.4%. Thank you for your attention.